Pepe, don't play with it. Eat it. <laughs> Mail call. Occupant, occupant, resident, homeowner, Valdez. Hooray, they finally found us. <laughs> <laughs> Sofia, this is for you, from your sister in Cuernavaca. Oh, I hope it's good news. If she doesn't ask for money, it is good news. <laughs> ah, pobrecito. How much? <laughs> no, she said she got a letter from Jerry, and she thinks he's very unhappy here. He's lonesome, he doesn't have any friends, and he wants to go back home. Sofia, that's hard to believe. When he comes here, he's very cheerful. Hello, everybody! <laughs> Just like that. Well, it's Saturday morning again. So here I am with my laundry. I just came in to get some more detergent. There is none on the back porch. I don't mean to interrupt, so just go back to with whatever you were doing, okay? <laughs> oh, Mama, did you see that? What? What did I see? That heartbroken smile, that forced grin. That letter was absolutely right. Seems fine to me. Oh, but didn't you hear the way he said certain words like laundry, detergent, Saturday morning? That man is in a state of depression. And you want to know why? Because he's all alone. What alone? He comes here, he has us. He doesn't want to be with us. He wants to be with people. What are we, ducks? <laughs> The wash is washing, so I'm leaving now. Jerry, why didn't you tell us? I just told you. The wash is washing, so I'm leaving now. <laughs> oh, Jerry, why didn't you tell us you were lonely and depressed? Is this the face of a depressed person? Do I look depressed? <laughs> <laughs> Don't fight it, Jerry. If you ask me, he needs female companionship. Jerry, you should be going out Saturday night with a girl, and you should be doing, uh... Doing what? You shouldn't know what he should be doing. But he should be doing it. Jerry, you used to go out with a lot of girls in Mexico. Ah, yes, but here it's different. Why? Because when I date an American girl, I have to translate what she says into my language. Then she has to translate what I say by the time we through translating, she has already married another guy and has two children. <laughs> Come on, Jerry, I'll find you a girl. Luis, you're absolutely right. Jerry does need a girl, and I know where he can get one. Ernesto! Ernesto! Sofia, don't be a matchmaker. I think Uncle Luis is right. I know what I'm doing, both of you. Yeah, Mom. Ernesto, come down and bring that little black book of yours. Why are you calling Ernesto? I'm here, Ma. I know lots of girls. Victor, when someone is in the market for girls, you are just a little store on the corner. Ernesto is Sears and Roebuck. <laughs> what are you talking about? Only last week I was out with a very charming girl. She'd be perfect for you, Jerry. Can you fix her up with your cousin for tonight? No, she can on Saturday night. He skates for the roller derby. Hey, what do you want with my book, Mom? Uh-huh. <laughs> Mr. Sears with a catalog. We have to find a girl for Jerry. No problem. Hey, I know other girls. I got some great numbers in here. Betty Jean Johansson. Inga Nielsen. Christine Swenson. Mm. When you're finished with the Danish pastry, skip to the burrito side of the book. <laughs> I want to hear a Fernandez, a Rodriguez, something with an easy at the end. Mom, they're all easy. That's why they're in the book. <laughs> hey, here's one. She's perfect. Good. Let's call her. Hey, wait. I got one. I got one. Uh, no, no good. Tonight's her welding class. <laughs> Are you sure this girl is right for Jerry? She better be, because I know all the others are wrong. Wonderfully wrong. <laughs> I better go. No, no, stay. 
Hello, Nina. Ernesto Valdez. Hiya, kid. Hey, look, the reason I'm calling is... <laughs> ah, you still remember that night, huh? Ernesto, you're not calling for yourself. You're calling for Jerry. I know, Mom, I know. Nina, forget that night. Listen, the reason I'm calling is I'd like you to speak to my cousin, Denny Ramirez. He's a great guy. Great guy. No, no. Go on, ask her for a date. What if she says no? This girl hasn't said no to anything in years. <laughs> Hello? Uh, this is Ernesto's cousin, Jerry Ramirez. A great guy. <laughs> oh, yes? You do? Oh, really? She still can't forget that night. Yeah, see you at seven. Ernesto! Mom, I can't help it. Jerry, you wouldn't have liked her anyway. <laughs> it was a very nice thing that you tried to do, Tia Sofia. But don't feel bad. I'm not unhappy. Tonight, I'm not only going to have a TV dinner. <laughs> For dessert, I got myself a surprise. What? A hostess Twinkie. <laughs> Honey, Pepe, don't you two know any nice girls? I know some great girls, but they'd be too short for Jerry. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why didn't I think of this before? I met the perfect girl a couple of days ago. Let me see, where did I put her telephone number? Ah, here it is. Miss Ines Perez, a good omen. Even her first name ends in EZ. <laughs> Rayvon calling. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Miss Perez, come in, come in. Sit down and make yourself comfortable. Thank you, Mrs. Valdez. I'm so glad you called me. I just hope I have what you need. Oh, I know you have what I need. <laughs> Luis, what are you doing here? I live here. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, uh, this is my husband. Uh, Luis, this is Miss Inés Perez. Tanto gusto en conocerla. Luis, why don't you go out in the backyard and get some sun? Sofia, when I was a boy, I worked 14 hours a day picking lettuce. I got enough sun to melt Alaska. <laughs> Valdez, let me show you our latest line of lipsticks. This is Lover's Burgundy, this is Passion Pink, and this is Surrender Red. <laughs> uh, Luis, why don't you go in the kitchen and read your paper, huh? This is women's business. Lovers, passion, surrender, that's everybody's business. <laughs> Uh, the shade that you are wearing is very beautiful. What is it called? Wild and willing. <laughs> well, uh, your boyfriend must be crazy about it. <laughs> you do have a boyfriend, don't you? No, no one special. Oh, in that case, I'll take a passion, a lover, and a surrender. <laughs> and you can throw in a wild and woolly. Oh, four! That's super! I made some iced tea. Honey, this is Miss Perez, and she doesn't have a boyfriend. Great, then you also get cookies. <laughs> well, uh, Mrs. Valdez, let me show you our marvelous new face creams. They are 100% organic. They come in strawberry, avocado, cantaloupe. If you eat it, we got it. <laughs> uh, would, you, would you use them before you had a date? Oh, sure. Uh, like tomorrow night? Of course. Do you have a date? No. In that case, I'll take one of each. Oh, bueno, bueno. Oh, you speak Spanish. Make it two of each. Sofia, could I talk to you for a minute in the kitchen? Oh, yes. Excuse me. Uh, may I see some of your uh, eyeshadows and perfumes and mascara, whatever you got? I'm in a buying mood. This girl is not for Jerry. Your meddling is going to get you into trouble. Luis, when I am meddling, don't meddle. You cannot buy your nephew a date. Who's talking about a date? 
I have a date, Miss Cookie. Uh, Miss Perez. It's all right, Mrs. Valdez. The way you're ordering, you can call me anything you want. Now, we have a fabulous line of perfumes that I think both you and your daughter will absolutely love. <laughs> if you want to know the truth, all this buying is for her nephew. <laughs> Yes, a lovely boy. I can imagine. <laughs> I'd like you to meet him tomorrow night, the night you don't have a date. Oh, I don't think he's my type. <laughs> oh, this stuff is not for my nephew. The date is for my nephew. And believe me, he is your type. By the way, what type is your type? <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I don't think I ever really thought about it before. Uh, I guess I go out with mostly tall guys. <laughs> oh, well, he's tall. Perfect. Uh, I, I, I also go out with shorter men. <laughs> he can bend over very nicely. <laughs> How is 7 o'clock? Sophie, um... You see, it's not just a guy's looks. I mean, I like someone who is interested and informed and involved. <laughs> Oh, you just described my nephew, Jerry, to a T. Uh, uh, what do you say? Is tomorrow night okay for you? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I mean, uh, I guess it wouldn't hurt to meet him. <laughs> anyway, that would give you a chance to take your order and show you some new things. Oh, oh, well, you, do you have any of those kinky, funky glitter eye shadows? Oh, we sure do. <laughs> we have a whole line of them. <laughs> Good. Tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, huh? Okay. And bring your kinky funky. Okay. <laughs> yes. Interesting, informed, involved. That's not Jerry. That's Walter Cronkite. <laughs> Luis, what is so terrible about getting a lonely nephew a date? But not this girl. She's too, too modern, too American. Jerry's an old-fashioned boy from Mexico. I'm telling you, he won't even know what to say to her. Don't worry, Luis. He'll be fine. He'll win her over with his charm and wit. If anybody finds a pair of socks, one brown, one white, it's mine. I rest my case. <laughs> San Francisco 2, Los Angeles 1. Y ahora un anuncio de nuestro sponsor, Manishevitz Concord Wine. Coming! Hi, Jerry. Hi, Connie. I ironed your shirts. Now, this is the one I think you should wear when you meet Inez. Thank you, Connie, but uh, I'm too nervous to meet that girl tonight. Well, let's pretend that I'm Inez and you're meeting me for the first time. Now, what would you say? I would usually say, good evening. It is with extreme pleasure that I make your acquaintance. <laughs> no, Jerry, no. Just say, hi. Hi. That means all that? Yeah. Huh. Hi. Terrific. OK. Now what's next? Well, you've met me. Now compliment me on the way I look. Oh, you mean like uh, the garments you have chosen to wear are very becoming upon your person? <laughs> no, Jerry, just look her up and down and say, great. Is that it? Hi. <laughs> great. <laughs> OK. Then I'll be there at 7 o'clock tonight, sharp with flowers. Yep, now that's wrong. No flowers? Vegetables? <laughs> no, don't come early at all. Be casual, cool. Show up a little late. OK, I'll be there Tuesday. <laughs> Jerry, I think we better rehearse what we've done. Now, I'll be Inez. And I'll be Jerry, which is good, because that's who I am already. Well, now, remember, be casual, you know, cool. 
Come in. Hi. Great. I'm late. Pepe, take your books off the table. We're expecting company. Oh, Mama. Can't I stay and watch Jerry try to make out with the lipstick lady? <laughs> Pepe? Oh, boy. Before I find out anything about anything, I'll be too old to do anything about anything. <laughs> I hope everything works out okay tonight. Mama, what are you so nervous about? Me nervous? Do I look nervous? I'm not nervous. <laughs> well, you don't have to be, because I coached Jerry all this afternoon about having a date American style. You coached him? Now I'm nervous. <laughs> that can't be Jerry ringing the bell. Nope. I also coached him to be late. No, I am nervous. <laughs> Rayvon calling? Oh, I'm sorry. This is not business. This is pleasure. <laughs> Wait. The night is young. Ines, come in. You're looking lovely. Are you wearing that uh, wild and willing? Oh, no, this is better. Ready and able. <laughs> oh, well, I, I'm sorry, but for some reason, my nephew Jerry isn't here yet. But don't worry. Any minute, he'll be walking through that door with his bright and shining personality and saying, hello, everybody. <laughs> I'm late. I'm great. I'm high. Uh, uh, let me introduce my nephew, Jerry Ramirez. If I am Jerry Ramirez, then you must be Inez Perez. Yes, I'm Inez Perez. Then I am Jerry Ramirez. <laughs> well, I'm very pleased to meet you. Of course you are. <laughs> Allow me. I don't smoke. Oh. In that case, I'll put it out. such a sense of humor. He's always doing things like that. <laughs> Good. I can hardly wait for the next one. <laughs> Why don't you sit down, Jerry? <laughs> Luis, pour the wine. Quick. Here, have some of Mama's specialties. Oh, they look delicious. <laughs> Great. Just great. I'm late. I want you to taste this wine, Miss Pettis. Jerry? Here he's looking at you, kid. Uh, Humphrey Bogart said that. No, I did. <laughs> Didn't you just hear me? Well, uh, here's looking at you. <laughs> Jerry loves wine. <laughs> I think I'll have some, too. Allow me, Aunt Sophia. Ah, 63. Great price. <laughs> Make it a double. Tell me, uh, have you seen any good movies lately? Yes, I have. <laughs> well, what have you seen? I saw... I saw... <laughs> Hands! <laughs> D! <laughs> you saw it too. Mama, am I too young?
young to drink. <laughs> Miss Ines Perez? Yes. I knew you were going to be here tonight. So in your honor, I wrote a poem. A poem? How lovely. <laughs> she writes poetry? I call it Ines. Ines! Yes? <laughs> a poem by Jerry Ramirez. You can run from love. You can run from war. You can run from a crook on the street. You can run from danger. You can run from a stranger. But you can't run away from your feet. That did it. Sophia and you, coach, I want to see you in the sidelines. Will you excuse us, Miss Perez? And you, Jerry? Oh. <laughs> What's going on in there? What are you doing to him? Pop, I was just trying to help. Luis, will you keep your voice down? Miss Perez? Yeah? I'm afraid they are in there arguing about me. They knew me. They knew you? Yes. You see, there was an old me. But he wasn't doing too good with girls. So Connie made a new me. Let me ask you something, Jerry. What exactly was the matter with the old you? Well, you see, I only been here a, a couple of months, and I talk funny sometimes. <laughs> and girls laugh at me. Let me tell you something, Jerry. My father has an accent, just like you do. And uh, he gets things mixed up, just like you do. And I never laugh at him. I love it when he says, Inez, I cried because I had no shoes until I met a man who had no socks. <laughs> that is beautiful. <laughs> I could have not said it any better myself. <laughs> Miss Perez, my wife has something to say. Go ahead, Sophia. Ines, we want to apologize for trying to change Jerry into something that he wasn't. Yeah, we made such a mess out of the evening. I wish we could start all over again. That's a good idea. That's a very good idea. Jerry, if it's such a good idea, why are you leaving? I am not leaving. I'm coming in. Hello, everybody! <laughs>